The kid who's in custody, just 15 years old. Authorities arrested him this morning. They say they found some sort of evidence at the scene linking him to the crime here at Marcus Whitman Middle School. They found forced entry, uh, signs of a burglary. Authorities say it started with a 5 a.m. break in and ended with arson. This is what it looked like inside the school after firefighters put out the flames. We did find extensive damage inside the school. And that's not all they found. A canine officer was let loose inside to try to track a suspect. Authorities quickly discovered evidence apparently left behind by the arsonist. Within hours, they had a 15-year-old boy in custody, though it was unclear whether he had acted alone. Kind of sad. Can't imagine that anybody would do this unless they're incredibly bored and it still makes no sense. Port Orchard resident Karen Jensen says the school, while closed, had still been serving grab-and-go lunches for the community. After the fire, the district said on Facebook the service would move to a nearby warehouse. It's really close to home and it's just ridiculously sad that somebody would do this. Jensen says it's a blow at the worst time possible. With the virus going around, the school district has enough problems. In Port Orchard, Kristen Ayers, King 5 News.